Hi everybody. I hope you're looking forward to joining us for the next four weeks as we're going to talk about Jesus and we're going to talk about things coming up to Easter and all the important parts of his life. So this week I decided to buy one of these. Now it wasn't very expensive and I thought that I would decorate it with all these wee tiny Easter eggs. But then I thought that it would also have some nice wee carrots on it. What do you think? Do you think the carrots make it look different and make it look a bit more quirky? What do you think about the carrots? Well, I'm going to tell you a wee story and it mentions in it some something that really, really likes carrots. Really likes carrots an awful, awful lot. So the disciples were with Jesus one day and they were in a wee small village and Jesus asked two of the disciples to go ahead and get a donkey. Now the disciples had no money and they said to Jesus, but we have no money to pay for this donkey. Why do you want a donkey anyway? Sure, we can just walk. And Jesus said, no, go ahead and get this donkey. Tell the man the master needs it. And the disciples went, right, okay. Um, I'm a wee bit scared of going and speaking to a man and asking him for his donkey. But they trusted Jesus and they went into the next village and they found this small donkey. And it wasn't like a big massive horse. It wasn't like a king's horse. It was a small donkey. And the man said, what are you doing with my donkey? Why do you want my donkey? And the disciples said, they remembered what Jesus had told them. And they said, the master needs it. And so the man said, okay. And they took the donkey and they went back to Jesus with the donkey. Now Jesus then got on the donkey, but the donkey had never been ridden by anybody else before. And the disciples put coats on top of the donkey and the donkey seemed to get scared. And Jesus went over and spoke to the donkey and the donkey was fine. And Jesus got on the back of the donkey and the donkey was really calm and then took Jesus into Jerusalem. Now when Jesus got into Jerusalem, lots of people were standing about. And Jesus was riding on this donkey, but maybe they were expecting him to ride on a horse because Jesus is king. But they really started getting so excited about seeing Jesus because Jesus had been doing amazing things to help them. And so they started waving palm branches. Now, there's some of these in your packs if you have a look. And you can pretend and wave palm branches and pretend that Jesus is walking past you. And they put their coats on the ground to make it easier for the donkey to walk on. And they started shouting, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And they started shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. And Hosanna means save us. Because remember, Jesus was helping all the people all the time by performing all these great miracles. So Jesus continued riding into Jerusalem and some Pharisees were there and the Pharisees didn't like Jesus. They didn't like Jesus because they were jealous of him. They didn't like the fact that Jesus healed some people and that the people really loved Jesus. But they couldn't do anything about it because the people loved Jesus so much. Now they started saying to the people, stop shouting, stop shouting, stop saying things to Jesus. And Jesus said, stop. If they don't shout their praises to God, if they don't shout their praises like Hosanna, then the stones will start to praise God. The stones will start to speak to Jesus. Now, I would imagine 
that if the donkey went back the next day, he might have been looking for people. He might have seen a palm branch lying on the ground, or maybe he seen somebody had lost their coat and all these things still around the place. And he would have remembered how he rode with Jesus on his back into Jerusalem on that day. But there was nobody there. There was just normal people going about. Nobody recognised him as the donkey that had Jesus on his back. Nobody shouted Hosanna. Nobody shouted Son of David, nobody shouted, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I imagine that the donkey would have realised that without Jesus, we are nothing. So in this week's craft, we're going to start, and it's a wee bit like the wreath we did at Christmas, but instead we're going to use a cross. So there's already a cross in your pack, and if not, you can draw one yourself. Now it's only on a white sheet and I'm sure that you could do far better than me and colour it in. So what you're going to do first of all is cut your cross out. So this is going to be your cross and you're going to put different things on it for the next few weeks. But as I say, it would be really good if you could colour it in or do something with it. Then in this week's pack, you're going to have a wee palm branch and very carefully, with the help of an adult, you're going to cut out the palm branch. And then you're going to colour this in. This is your palm branch. And then you can colour this in and you're going to stick it on at the bottom here. Or maybe you'd like to put a donkey since today's story mentioned a donkey in it as well. And maybe um, you can have this a lot more decorated than what I could. And if you don't have one of the packs, you can always draw a palm branch on. Or you can always um, just really decorate this cross whatever way you want. I hope you really enjoyed doing the other crafts and the other activities in the pack this week. Okay so can we have all the mommies not listening and can we have just the kids and their daddies or grandparents please? Right so we're going to start and we're going to make our Mother's Day present. So you all got a card in the pack and you've also got a bag which has some soil in it. So before you start, you need to put something down over your tabletop. And we're gonna actually decorate it first before we put the soil in. So you've got a ribbon in your pack. So you could put a ribbon on and make it look very pretty. And yours will be so much better looking than mine. big bow on and then you can leave the ends on or you can cut them off it's up to you but if you're cutting them off get an adult to help you please Oops. okay and remember to always be careful with scissors so then you can decorate your your pot whatever way you want. I think I'll put some flowers around the bottom of my pot. But I'm sure that yours are so much nicer looking. And if you don't have a pack, you could maybe draw your mom a lovely picture or you could maybe make the vouchers with your dad to say that she gets a cup of tea made by your dad or that you can make her some breakfast or something like that. You could make all nice wee vouchers and get them to your mum for Mother's Day. Or maybe you could do her a nice colouring in. All those nice things that us mums really love. But 
your things will be far nicer than mine. I'm just doing mine very quickly. Now, if you have an adult and they say to do this a different way, just listen to them because I am not a great gardener by any means. So that's my pot with decorations. And then I just want to put some soil in. And you all have soils in your pack. And that's why we use the paper to keep the table nice and clean. There we go. So there we go. And then we're going to put some sunflower seeds in. Now you can't eat these sunflower seeds. These are not the ones that you can eat. So please do not put them in your mouth. And we'll put some sunflower seeds in. I'm not very good at gardening, so if anybody says to do it a better way, please listen to them. Right, there we go. And then, of course, you're going to water it. So you should put a plate or something maybe underneath to catch the water. there we go and then you can put this in you can put it outside or you can put it inside it says and then whenever it gets bigger then you can put it outside in your garden or into a pot so there you go there's your lovely Mother's Day present and I hope your mums really enjoy it and don't forget also to make your mums their card as well um, and I haven't shown you how to do that because it's going to be a special card from you and I've just included everything in your pack. But if you don't have a pack, I'm sure that you will make your mum some amazing things. And please take photographs of you and your mum together with some of her presents and send them in to us. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed doing the activities today and the story. Um, I would really love to see some of the things that you've made or how you've decorated your cross. Um, don't be doing too much else to it, but because we're going to be adding to it over the next couple of weeks. I hope you've really enjoyed this as I've enjoyed doing it with you. And I would love to see photographs or videos of you doing things and you can upload them to our church website or send them by email to our church. Well, we'll just all finish by praying together. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the Lord Jesus. We thank you that he is the King above all kings. And we thank you, Lord, for the donkey as well that carried him on his back. And we just pray, Lord, that you will just be with all the boys and girls as they watch this story and as they listen about you. And we pray, Lord, that you will just help them to learn that we can't do anything without you, Lord, that we need you at all times. And we just pray that you'll just bless the boys and girls that are watching this video. In your son's name. Amen.